so what we were talking about because he got asked questions around around SQL around relational databases and he was asked about um, how he would get data in from an API and how he would then transform it to um, yeah or transform it in general it wasn't wasn't really meant for or they were not really talking about the the data the destination here necessarily a SQL, a SQL database but that was in his example so uh, we were talking about okay when you have an outside API not something that you host you somehow need to get this data back in and that's that's where the basically this is the whole this is what you can do in the connect phase here that you say okay I have a I have a data integration tool something like Informatica talent you could also say Airflow or Airbyte or, or Apache NiFi these are tools where you say okay I have a source and the source looks like this I'm going to query data from the source and then I have a destination and I put the data into the destination and transform it in the middle. So that's something that that came up uh, with his with his questions during the interview and I think I thought this would, would be nice to actually share and maybe talk about that you can do this of course very very like simple when you say okay i don't i don't want to have a tool here you could just say okay i have a script they're running uh, i'm writing a python script and i'm triggering this python script to run every minute and then this reads the data and transforms the data from uh, the the data that you get into a, the data or into the schema of the source meaning uh, api would most likely return you a json but the database if you're especially for relational databases will not accept the json so you actually need to take the data or query the data then you would will transform it into uh, for instance here uh, from json into sql inserts and then you would insert the data and from there you would have then your your tables and your views where the user then actually um, uses the data so this is is one way of doing and he's on he's working on gcp so in on gcp in gcp there is a tool data flow where you can basically create exactly that where you can say okay i i want to take the data from the source this is how i query it from for instance from an api and you transform it directly in there and then putting it out onto a database who experienced something like that already who used something like uh, that? that's basically what i do all i do <laughs> <laughs> yeah me too so we currently use um talent for some of our some of our etl pulls to the database no that's right Arvin. that's right we were talking about that yeah so I think this is a pretty standard thing and this is something that a lot of a uh, lot of people use it doesn't need to necessarily be an api here it could also be a database here um yeah so this is a, a pretty standard uh how should we call this model or a pretty yeah, pretty standard um workflow that you have and these tools are good but what we were also talking about is when you're on a platform like gcp or uh, azure does that also have in how's it called on azure data azure is a data factory data factory exactly thanks so you have you have data factory here so why when you have that already um you don't really need to have these either open source tools or these paid tools to actually do this and there are a lot of good tools like airflow where you can actually uh, set listeners or execute bash scripts um, to actually then query this data on a schedule so yeah that's i thought that's that's something um 
that would be nice to share.